Yo, what's up everybody? Hope you guys are well and enjoying yourself and staying safe in this really cold winter's day. Um, in this video I just wanted to have a chat really because um, I saw one of uh, Batgar's Bullion's videos um, and the question he asked was um, if you was to start again, where would you start? And um, I just wanted to put that in the video really um, because at the moment it is uh, December 2022 and um, each year I believe it's different um, because some years you would start some years you wouldn't um, and that is what I'm learning now is that uh, yeah I could say I wouldn't start with uh, bullion um, silver here in the UK um, but uh, previous years you was able to get this VAT free and um, so them years you would say yeah you probably start with uh, bullion silver uh, just to get your foot in in, in the door really and just to see how you feel and um, how everything is really in the market uh, of bullion anyway and then you move on to maybe um, some gold etc um, and that's the typical route of bullion first but uh, because I started in uh, 2021 and this year 2022 um, you know looking at charts and figures etc um, and it's December 22 I would say you probably best off starting with proof coins and that is because um, value of my proof coins have gone up um, especially gold um, because I bought some sovereigns 2022 um, jubilee platinum jubilee sovereigns and they've gone up more than bullion let's say even my gold um, and even silver really um, and silver hasn't really moved but uh, yeah so everyone's starting position is different because we see it for um the year that's gone ahead um but if i was to start in 2022 in december 22 i would literally not buy any <laughs> and that's probably um an unpopular decision um but with the economy now uh, around us um you know you could get interest rates at five percent at the moment fixed rate uh, for a year or so in savings so um, to me um, if you was to buy bullion silver let's say um, you know uh, I don't see this increasing by 5% really <laughs> um, and that is uh, just by looking at this year like you know it hasn't even increased by 5% uh, more like decreased probably um, I haven't looked at the charts for a few weeks but uh, um, spot price is around 18 pounds here in the UK um, and so to me um, this stuff here bullion silver you know wouldn't have uh, increased um, and even looking at gold in US dollars terms that's decreased but because we're in the UK and the pound uh, has weakened um, we've seen an increase um, but if you left your money in the banking system uh, I know there's like uh, issues with that and people some of us are being scared to put leave it in the bank let's say but um say if you was to spend the amount of money on precious metals and leave it in the bank um, i reckon you get a better return in um leaving it in the bank this year or in the coming years because interest rates of savings are going up um but if i say this you would start in proof no one actually i don't know anyone that's uh, started uh, their collection or stacking um, first off by buying proof coins because they are really expensive and to be fair um, that is a risk um, to me as well even though I've seen the value gone up because I'm looking at old coins like this um, silver proof coin here um, and obviously this was high price and I believe the value of this has gone down even though it's a different coin and you see toning as well um, so yeah this is i kept this just to see uh, the condition etc uh, since last year that i had it and uh, to be honest too lazy to uh, sell it to be honest and that's another important thing to note is that uh, your exit strategy my exit strategy is probably different to everyone else's and so this is why i keep um, the coins that i buy uh, at the moment anyway and because my exit strategy um, it's different to everyone else's um, I kind of like a, um, having a different route um, and this is my route let's say so if I was to say uh, start off with proof coins 
you know, with the risk that it comes with, etc. Um, that's my own uh, journey. Um, but so everyone's journey is different. So I could say start with a proof coin and see see what happens. But uh, looking at my charts and uh, uh, spreadsheet that I have um, throughout the year, buying gold proof coins has been very uh, more uh, rewarding, even though um, I'm not sending it right now. Um, you know, I've seen the value going up. So that is where I would start. Um, but that is really risky. And obviously, I know people ain't going to um, start with a proof coin. Um, but just by looking at charts for this year, um, I would start with that. But obviously, this is December 2022. And we had a full year now. And so um, you probably wouldn't start with a proof coin, even though um, the new one of this come out. And it might or might not... Um, increase in value as it did with these i don't see it increasing as fast as this rate anyway um for the new um memorable solvents that is coming out soon and so uh, you wouldn't start with a proof coin but maybe you will because next year 2023 is like the coronation of king charles and so that coin will be really in high demand i believe and um, so yeah it's a bit of a <laughs> fascinating one because these years these last year or so and the year coming is um not really uh normal times let's say and so um to be fair uh, it's not really normal times anyway um but uh that's what where i would start anyway um and that's only my 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 reasoning is because i've seen the value of these uh proof coins are outweighing uh bullion at the moment but obviously some uh journeys that i started previously when that free silver was available uh would be totally different and uh yeah the probably the safest bet would be uh to just buy bullion sovereigns which is a really keen well really good way of stacking i believe um but then you know now because savings and etc increasing um i wouldn't start stacking to be honest um i'll leave it in the bank and then save get that five percent interest because i don't see bullion um increasing that much in the in within a year let's say um but i do see you know it could decrease <laughs> uh but uh yeah that's that's my thoughts on this video uh really because um you know i've seen a lot of uh well it was a good question that i was asked really so um yeah let me know what you you think uh where would you start most people i believe would start in the bullion round um and that's that really and so um i mean i, I even started a bullion but um to be fair um it was a good starting point um but if you're looking at uh value um and whether it's increased or decreased is uh yeah maybe i was buying a different uh wrongly um let's say but uh yeah uh the increase has not really um been as much as five percent let's say i'm only saying five percent this because the interest rates on savings accounts are at five percent at the moment and so um it's really important that is because you know if you was to put your money in here now and um, will you see a return in the future when you come to sell now my extra strategy is totally different and um, because i don't plan on selling uh within a year or two um so yeah it's totally different so that's why i don't mind um buying proof coins because well i believe anyway that this stuff isn't going to go to the moon and etc um and so i literally just biding my time and because these proof coins are never ever going to come out again like platinum jubilee and the first coin of king charles reign um is never are never never really going to come out again um but there will be other coins to buy let's say um and also you know the first prince william's coins <laughs> um uh, years years and years away but like uh say for example this next year uh, the first prince um i mean king charles coin comes into um into the world you know that's never gonna really happen for another f few years and the next 
special sovereign would be five years time let's say um, so i think anyway or maybe longer because anniversary dates are key key coins let's say and i don't see me buying proof coins every year um sovereigns so this is why um i don't mind just taking it steady and taking it slow and uh buying proof coins and starting with proof coins let's say um but to be fair you would definitely start with uh bullion because you wouldn't when you're starting out you don't really know much about it and um, you just buy because it's so cheap well because it's affordable you just buy one bullion and then be done with it and then go from there and then you get hooked oh and that was my journey anyway i bought a few a tube of a uh, bullion and i got hooked straight away so um continued without <coughs> knowing um but yeah uh let me know what your thoughts on that and where would you start if you was to start again would you be bullion would you be proof or would you be silver and gold really um and that, that depends on where you are in the world really i think and so everyone's it's different and also you've got to think about your exit strategy and that's one of the reasons why where i would start so yeah let me know what your thoughts and i uh, hope you enjoy your weekend and see, hopefully i'll see you in the next one Cheers. Bye.